Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called, Is Dubai the New New York City? Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. Is Dubai the new New York City? Is it the place to go now for large-scale business and networking? Is it a wise place to invest in or purchase real estate in? We reached out to some people who routinely travel to there and, and, uh, and asked them those same questions. Here's what we found out. First question, is Dubai the new New York City? Here's what people told us. Dubai is fast becoming a hub for large-scale business and a great lifestyle if you're very wealthy. It's very clean and luxurious and it's becoming up the place to go for certain large events or attempts to do business on a significant scale. One of the advantages it has over New York now is that they have zero tolerance for crime. Nobody in the criminal world woke up today and said, hey, let's go to Dubai and commit some major crimes. That would be a really bad idea. Whether you're committing simple street crime or you're involved in some kind of large scale white collar crime, you don't want to do it in Dubai because a lawyer isn't going to save you if you do. If you have clearly engaged in criminal activity, then you're going to jail for a long time. And your time in prison will be very serious. It's not like the US or some other countries where you can drink, do drugs, watch cable, or engage in criminal behavior while you're in prison all day long. In Dubai, the rules will be too strict for that. Next question. How is the real estate situation in Dubai now? Is it still a good idea to purchase or build more real estate there now at this time? Most people we talk to don't have any problem with renting there, but many of them feel it's no longer a good time to purchase real estate in Dubai. They feel that the real estate market is trending downwards and that if you purchase now, you're gonna lose a boatload of money in a few years. Next question, what are the disadvantages uh, of going to Dubai? First and foremost, it's the heat in the summer. In the summer, living in Dubai is like living in a sauna, maybe worse. It's good for the first five minutes, but if you don't get into an air-conditioned room quickly, you will regret it. You're gonna look like a melted pizza on the ground. Most people think that you can tolerate it as long as you stay indoors uh, most of the time. But, uh, but you know, it, it can be 115 degrees down in Dubai, and that'll make your eyeballs sweat. So. That it's a very serious consideration when, you, uh, when you're contemplating going there or moving there or whatever. That's why a lot of people don't really visit Dubai in the summer. They'll visit it during other times of the year, but not much in the summer. The temperature extremes there are too difficult to tolerate. Next, we have the cost of living. If you're a tourist looking for an inexpensive place to vacation, then don't bother going to Dubai. Nobody we know considers Dubai to be inexpensive. In fact, Dubai is the complete opposite of inexpensive. It is a very luxurious place, and luxurious is almost always synonymous with expensive. A mid-range restaurant might easily charge one person $100 for a burger and fries. And remember, most people eat two or three times a day, so keep that in mind. Next, we asked, what is the long-term stability of Dubai, and what are its future geopolitical prospects like? Here again, most people feel that Dubai has a much brighter future than New York. They feel that New York is deteriorating rapidly and it's deteriorating with a speed that people have not seen since the fall of Rome. And many of them feel it's probably worse than the fall of Rome. What about living or vacationing there if you only speak English? Would that be a problem? No. A lot of people there who work in the service industries tend to speak English at the hotels and restaurants and other places of business. What about the cultural rules of Dubai? Are they very restrictive or challenging uh, for people visiting? Here's what people tell us. Behave yourself in Dubai the way you would behave if you went to your grandmother, to your very religious grandmother's house in the US. Don't swear. Don't be loud or obnoxious or drunk. Don't, uh, don't act like a fool or do drugs. Don't behave inappropriately with women. Dubai doesn't tolerate disrespectful or rude uh, criminal behavior. And if you get arrested for that sort of thing, then you will regret it for a very long time. We also ask uh, if the people who do go to Dubai still visit or do business in New York. The answer to that was 
only if they absolutely had to. And even then, they would prefer to do business by Zoom or hire an agent or a lawyer to conduct their business for them. Good luck. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's episode of our show on uh, all your social media to help get the word out. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.